what was it she said? Sage something, something else. Roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags. So, as I'm sure some of you noticed at the completion of the last episode, there was this rather awkward hard cut. This cut was not my intention. That video was actually a little over 20 minutes longer than what you actually got. For some reason, YouTube just decided in its upload process to cut it off at that point and just render it up to there. I have no idea why it did it. I was not able to repair it at all. And yeah. while I, uh, I could have just pulled the video down and tried to re-upload again from scratch, by the time I actually got around to being able to do that, I had other things on, class and a few other things. Um, the video had already been up for nearly 14 hours and yeah. people had been watching it. So I decided rather than pulling the video down yeah. and re-uploading the entire thing again, I'd just re-upload from the point that you yeah. decided to cut. So this is the conclusion to that episode. I hope you enjoy. And there it is, I hope. Still outside, so that's a start. A bunch of guards just sleeping out here. Flowers and what looks like a really shit garden. Um, so it would be roses. Sage. Poppies. More sage. I will grab the extra stuff anyway because either I'm going to give it to her or I'm going to wind up keeping the extras and I need to start playing with potion making anyway. God, Henry looks like shit at the moment. <laughs> i got to find a tawny later today. I'd like some privacy if you don't mind. Come for my wench. Right. Well, as you can see, what I'm not What the hell is going on, Hans? Else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie. But are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald. <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> you shut your mouth. I'm not done with you. No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We'll talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard. I'd like to see you try, arson balls. <laughs> <laughs> Can I not leave you alone for five minutes without you getting <laughs> fucked up by somebody? Fuck you now. Hey. What do you think you're doing? It's <laughs> alright, punch the guy in plate armor across the face, because there's no way he's going to get up and wreck your shit, is he? Fuck, Henry. Ah! Yeah, but. Come on. Oh, oh, that was a knee to the face. That should have dropped him. Steel plate knee to the face, and I'm punching him with friggin' steel gauntlets. Cunt. I'm oh, I'm not having any problems getting around you at all here, but why the hell are you not going down? Not now, Hans. Oh. Oh dear, did that hurt? Back to him, not dance with him. Break it up, please. Well, I'm trying. He should be out by now. 
Blocking or not, I'm hitting him with steel gauntlets. That should be it. One or two good plugs across. Oh. Bugger! Go ahead and gather your strength. You'll need it. Finally. Jesus. What the hell got into you? Trying to drown a nobleman. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <coughs> I, I didn't know. Get out of my sights. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Phew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> you want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. The man has a point. <laughs> He's still an arsehole, but he has a point. And apparently I spent the night on the ground outside. Um, alright, so... Let's, uh... The fuck is everything? Um... All right, so we're gonna see if Hans is all right. Good day, Henry. Huh. He spent the night inside a hut. And what will you do with them, Sir Hans? <coughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. What do you think I should do with him? Uh, you know what, let's not punish He's him. He's drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. But he tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. <laughs> but we had some pretty good sports, hey. eh? God be with you. New level in herbalism. It's all right, I'll be using that one fairly soon. Okay, well, that is the completion of that quest. Make a little bit of cash out of it. That looks like a new die. 100, 175 groschen. Where the hell's my horse? There you are. Ah! Damn! Were you dumb enough to walk into him, asshole? Anyways, yeah. that was all well and good. But there is a tournament in Ratay today, and uh, so after a night of drinking and not really sleeping and spending the night in full armour outside on the ground, I can't think of anything better than going and beating the crap out of a few people. Welcome to the renowned Ratay Tournament! A tournament! Right. Come on, God Harold. Bless you. What troubles you? I want to enrol in the tournament. I'd like to enrol in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sir Hanish's yeah, rule is every problem. contestant has to put up three score groschen. Yeah, same as last time, that's fine. Of course. Here you are. I'll write your name down. Henry, you said. And you I need know to know who what I am. weapon you choose. Um, short sword short and shield, shield still. still. Definitely. For Good. the moment. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. Bye. Meeting face okay. to face in this round will be Yera of Benashoff, called Kipper, a mercenary by profession. So mercenary is my first and opponent. And his adversary will be Henry of Scullets from the company of Sir Ratzik Kabla. Welcome, you our announce it a little bit slower. I'm the winner of the last tournament, you know. Give me a bit of fanfare. And, and this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. You're the worst hype man ever. You know that? Oh, here we go. We're starting. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 
back. Get back. Alright. Now, now. Give up. Oh, there we go. Saddest activated. Jesus Christ! Tip. And another one in the face. times do I have to stab you in the face, mate? Apparently that many times. Alright, there's round one. So, what weapons are we going to be changing to for round two? And it looks like long swords. Awesome. I like long swords. Alright. Come on, matey. Bugger! Face. Oh, a pummel strike. I do love pummel strikes. sword. I can't have many more levels in sword left to go, to be honest. Ooh. Another one in the face. Ooh. I'm opening myself up there a little bit. Not quite as much as he is, but... And there we go. Okay, so that's the mercenary down. Having proved his combat skills in this round and emerged victorious, he shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. Yeah, fair enough. Give me my next opponent. Okay. Meeting face to face in this Long round will be round one. Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobla. Again, and his needs more height. Will be Calder o the Tar, catchpole of the Ratai Bailiff. Let us wish the combatants Local luck. Local boy. Well, time to put down the. Always prepared for the first duel. Our confidence will Everything has been prepared for a while. Start the fight. Worst hype man ever, and you're dragging it out. Let's deal with the local boy. Come on. Fuck! Waiting? Of course not. Cool. You staggered me back then. Smart ass. I think he just got me with a kick. And block. Get back in the corner. There again. Another one over the helm. And that's it. Henry of Scallets. Okay. So what will the next weapon be? Oh no. And now's the time. 
to choose weapons for the axes. next duel. Prepare to watch. At a least it's axes, fight and with axes and shields. So I can use my defense a lot. Oh. Fuck it! Oof. Give up. Ah. Yeah, I've never really looked at axes as an option. They are kind of satisfying when you hit somebody over the head with them. In this round, and shall proceed to the next round. Proceed to the final round, you mean? There's only three rounds in the tourney. And who shall be my final opponent? And this is going to be somebody I'm going to have to kill later on after it's over. The first combatant will be Henry of Scullets. From the company of Sir Ratsay Kabla. More hype, come and on. His adversary will be Benish of Lashim, cut pole to the Sasso Bailiff. Welcome, Another our catch warriors. Pole. From Sasso this time. The come on, make some noise, the people. And the first duel may commence. Our combinants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. Of course, because it's the first round in the tourney. Now start the fight, please. Thank you. Two. Hope you didn't like that face. And counted again. And turning me around, but still. Again, did you just was he bleeding out or what? Change weapons uh, for the second friggin' bounce. axes again. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. All right, last round. Win this, and I get myself a nice shiny new piece of armor and some more gold. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, Bob. Good dodge. Completed this tourney to get both my mace and my axe skills right up there. There we go. Final blow. Straight victories. Good men and good wives. 
You have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sir Radzik Komila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Okay. So, let's go find Sir Hanush. Alright, ladies and gents. So, I did look around to try and find Sir Hanush, and I eventually did, but he was upstairs inside the upper castle, and unfortunately, the plot was waiting with him. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord... Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off, and they even took one captive. He's wounded. We can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. What? I don't give a fack what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Curva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... <laughs> ...worth. <sighs> Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said it we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhoyed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. And the main storyline is back on. I was actually sort of hoping I could take a couple of videos to get a few of the side quests done before getting back onto it, but sometimes it just sneaks back up on you. Anyways, after the storyline script, I did manage to speak to Sir Hanush, and I did get my reward for the tournament. I got the pauldron, so I now have the gloves and the pauldrons for the tournament suit of armor, which, as I understand it, is one of the better sets of armor in the game. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. As always, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and until next time, take care. Fit that in before I go off investigating this new series of problems. I have a couple of other side quests to do as well, so I might end up having to do a whole lot of them at once. Anyways, guys, until next time, take care.